going to die down here. Hello YouTubers. Today we are going to be doing an um, update on my water cool build. Um, I've managed to overclock it uh, from a 3.5 uh, gigahertz to a 4.8. Uh, I tried the 4.9. The temperatures were just a little too high for me. Um, again, the temperatures aren't great uh, for a 4.5 overclock, but keep in mind, you know, I'm going from 3.5 to 4.8. So this is a big jump. There's going to be some risk involved, um, but, you know, no risk, no reward. Um, so let's just uh, go into the uh, CPU Z and the uh, Intel burn test. Um, uh, CPU Z right here. So now uh, CPU Z, what you want to keep an eye on is the uh, core clock and the uh, multiplier. So right now we're not at any kind of load. It's, it's throttled back, um, but that will change once we get into the Intel burn test. Um, got a funny, funny story. I, I forgot the headphones weren't plugged in when I recorded this video, so I'm kind of doing the audio second. Never done this before. Um, it, it's not going to match up to the video, but um, you know, I'm doing my best, people. Uh, again, so keep an eye on the core clock and the multiplier. Uh, just to confirm, it's the <coughs> i7 30, 3770K. Okay, let's get started. Hopefully this um, rendering program doesn't drop the video out. So again, you'll see we're at uh, 487 something um, and the multiplier should be at uh, times 48 for the, all the cores. Um, we're going to do um, just uh, the first one, no temperatures, just to show you that it is running. It is stable. Uh, excuse me. It's uh, Sunday morning, so I'm a little nap, a little nappy, a little tired. Um, you know, uh, some people are going to say, oh, the temperature this, the temperature that. Um, you know, again... This is uh, this is my risk to take. I understand that uh, it's not an ideal situation. Um, you know, uh, the computer is not liquid nitrogen cooled. Um, as good as EKWBR, I don't expect them to uh, try to keep the CPU cooled when I'm, I'm clocking it from a 3.5 to a 4.8. I think that'd be a little ridiculous to expect as good as they are. Um, this is with the uh, EKWB uh, full nickel um, uh, water block. And I actually can't see in the video. I got a little screen. I'm looking at the video through while I record this, so I can't tell um, which test we're on here. Um, you know, your your CPU is is never gonna run at a hundred percent load. Um, um, the most intensive things I do most likely is uh, actually render video and and stuff like that. <coughs> and uh, I've checked the the CPU hits a sixty percent load, maybe seventy percent load. And as high as I'll get is uh, 70 degrees. Um, so there you go. So a stability test is, is done. Let's just pull out the actual temperature readings. Again, I've told you that temperatures will be a little high. We are overclocking a chip um, by a lot, not by a little bit. Um, so here, just Windows running, we're hitting the uh, the 30s. And uh, you'll actually be able to see at the very top of that window in the center, it'll actually show you the CPU load. <coughs> and um, 
you got your your temperatures there thermal status is across the bottom we'll never trip a thermal status alert during this whole test um, I know the thermal status is set high so you know I'm not uh, thinking that because those aren't tripping it's 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 safe uh, let's get it started So, I, like, as I was saying before, um, we will hit 100 degrees, um, but we will hit 80 degrees, too. Um, it's not staying at 100 degrees. Um, it is coming down. So, low end 80, high end 100. Um, what was I saying before? Um, so, yeah, you, like, your CPU will will never be at a hundred percent load um, all the time um, like I said rendering video we're hitting uh, 70 degrees on a 60 to 70 percent load on the CPU um, and and that's 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 high right but it's it's well under uh, something I should be concerned about. And, uh, you know, water cooling, custom custom builds, it's, it's all about what you're comfortable with, what you're willing to uh, sacrifice. And let's face it, as a water-cooled uh, computer, there is a lot more dangerous things going on inside the computer than uh, an overclock um, just the amount of water in there and and the fact that we hope everything's gonna stay where it's supposed to stay is probably a little bit more dangerous than what I'm trying to do here um, but yeah that's that's pretty much it I just wanted to give you an update of, of the clock I'm running on the CPU itself And that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Yeah.